Welcome to our reflections for this week. We come into God's presence knowing that He is our refuge and strength and His everlasting arms are always under us. The theme for this week is strength and we are reflecting on the strength that we receive from God and from one another. We all know and value the support that our family and friends are to us and likewise I'm sure that they value the support that we give to them. In the painting that is hanging behind me, two people know the support of each other as they look out at the world before them. Life is always full of uncertainty and it is so important to have people in our lives who can support us despite whatever comes our way. As I, as I have said many times before, during our reflections, God is always there with us, ready to help us. He is our strength and we can rely on him. This is the message of Psalm 46 that we are looking at today, which David Burrell from Glenless is going to read for us. Psalm 46 God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear that the earth give way, and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though its waters roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her, she will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see the works of the Lord, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. When you're looking for someone to help you deal with a situation or problem, what qualities do you look for in that person? Do you look for someone who exercises a lot? Do you look for someone who has been properly trained? Or do you look for a superhero? I guess on the whole it will depend on what the problem is. Also it may depend on if we know someone who can help us. If so, then we will ask them first. And that's wise, because if we already know someone who can help us, then we're more likely to trust them to deal with the problem successfully. In Psalm 46, the psalmist begins by stressing that God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. God can always be trusted and we can rely on him for the strength that we need during the difficult and challenging times. He will help us through the times of uncertainty, the times when we face illness, the times when we mourn the loss of loved ones, and the many other times when we need a source of strength. He will not let us down, though the world around us turns upside down. He will be there for us, even when we feel weak and tired. How comforting is it to know that God is always with us and that he shows us his love again and again in different ways. Therefore, when we pray to him, 
we know that he hears us and that he will help us at all times, giving us just what we need to strengthen and renew us. Paul wrote in his second letter to the Corinthians, Let us give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the merciful Father, the God from whom all help comes. He helps us in all our troubles so that we are able to help others who have all kinds of troubles using the same help that we ourselves have received from God. This is our calling, to receive the strength that we need from God in order to be people of strength to those around us. Being strong through our words, our actions and our attitudes. Helping when we can help giving advice when it encourages, walking with those who feel alone, being there for those who need support. Yes, of course we will have times when we feel weak or tired, but because of the strength that God gives us, we can always be strong. Remember what the psalmist said, be still and know that I am God. Therefore let us continue to trust in God, our refuge and our strength. And let us do all we can to be people of strength, ready to help those around us. Shall we pray? Loving God, we thank you that you are the source of strength, that we need to face all the challenging times in our lives. You are the one who we can turn to for strength when the situations that we face drain us of all energy. You are the one who we can turn to for strength when we face difficulties that cause us to worry. You are the one who we can turn to for strength when we need support during uncertain times. Father, help us not to worry. Help us to know that you love us greatly and that you will look after us. May we put all our fears to one side and trust you because you are faithful to us. In fact, you are always faithful to us even though we mess up and make mistakes. Forgive us, Father, for the words and actions that have hurt you and those around us. Forgive us for those times when we have not trusted you and when we have doubted your ability to help us. Forgive us for those times when we have failed to provide strength and support to all those we know, our friends and our family. Father, we are so glad that you forgive us and help us to live as you have called us to live, being strong for one another, just as you are always strong for us. God of all wisdom, be with the situations of concern that we have at this time. Be with those who are close to us, our family and friends, those who face uncertainty, illness or bereavement. Be with those who lead our nations and give them your wisdom during these trying days. Be with those who serve you in a wide variety of locations and ways in our world. Be with those who are persecuted because of their faith in you. Lord, be with all our brothers and sisters and continue to give them and us the strength that we need for all the tasks that you have called us to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you to all those who sent in photos on the theme of strength for this week, which you can see in this week's community space. 
for our community space next week can I ask you to send in photos or videos of cattle whether they are Frisian, Highland, Belted Galloways or any other breed. So let us continue to think about the strength and support that God gives us as we sing our hymn Leaning on the Everlasting Arm. What a joy divine Leaning on the everlasting arms What a blessedness What a peace is mine Leaning on the everlasting arms Leaning, leaning Safe and secure from all alarms So let us be glad that God gives us the strength that we need and encourages us to be strong for those around us. And until we meet again, take care, stay safe, and may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. 